Good morning. Good morning, Wendy. Good evening. Sorry. Good morning for you. <laughs> Good morning for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm totally confused. Where do, where do you... Where do you stay? I, I don't know. <laughs> Donde está usted? Oh. Um, I am in uh in the the country of Georgia. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mention mention uh, mention like uh, between Russia and what Istanbul? And in Turkey. In Turkey. Oh, yeah. So, Turkey. yeah. Turkey and, and Russia. Between. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. I, I'm going to see if I can okay. if I can um show you the map. Okay. <clears throat> so that you can have a, a better idea. Hmm. Okay, I have a map here so you can see it. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. Do you see it? Yes. Whoa, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's same. It's same. Uh, the Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, in your, your state. <laughs> <laughs> so, the state. Yeah. So, um. This is Georgia. Same, uh, same name. Yeah, it's the same name. But this is, yeah, but it's the country, not. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. So, um, it, so, um, this is this is Turkey. This is where I was before. Oh. Okay. Then um, it, this is, I think, I don't, mm, I think this is also Turkey. I'm not sure. And this is Russia. All of this is Russia. This is Armenia. Armenia. Azerbaijan. And so all of these are border with Georgia, and I'm here in uh, Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Tbilisi. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm far. <laughs> I'm very far. What do you do? What do you do in Tbilisi? Um, well, um, I'm 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 here like temporarily. I'm gonna be here about a, a month. Um, I'm gonna visit. Well, actually, um, yeah, I'm I'm um, be yeah, this I'm getting to know it. I'm visiting some friends. I'm um, and I'm also uh, you know, just hanging out <laughs> and uh, for about a month I'm gonna be here oh. mm -hmm. you voluntary yeah. um yeah 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 we can say that mm -hmm. yeah what, what they do the volunteers oh um 
well uh we're volunt we volunteer to we we teach about the bible mm -hmm. so yeah oh mm -hmm. yeah so lots of things lots of things to do <laughs> yeah yeah but then i i return i return it's back the initial. Mm -hmm. similar similar, similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Okay. Yeah, but everything is volunteer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. yeah Congratulations. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. <laughs> thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, all good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You... Uh, uh, in you in the in the country where you are. Where you are, uh, it's the same hour uh, on Turkey. On no, Turkey. no, it's one one hour ahead. One hour. Ah, okay. That's why you 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 said yesterday is six, like like today, six a.m. Mm -hmm. Turkey is five a.m. Five a.m. So for uh, me, it's be it's better because it's better. because it's better because um, I don't have to wake up so early. <laughs> Okay. Yes, uh, surely. And, yeah. And the, the also is, but in the in in the weather, is the same or change? Mm. Yeah, almost the, time, the same. The, time, uh, the, the climate. The dark, the dark, like uh, five a.m. is different. Uh, in El Salvador, five a.m. is uh, how do you say? Todavía. Uh, oscuro. Dark. Dark. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's, but, it's still dark. 6 a.m. is clear. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it, actually, here in Georgia, it, it reminds me a lot of, of El Salvador because it, um, I can uh, I can feel that it's like getting uh, like it, like it's morning at 6 a.m. I can feel the same, the same kind of feeling of El Salvador. Very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, um, I have, I have never, well, I had heard of Georgia like a long time ago, um, but I had never, never in my wildest dream imagined that I would be here. Never. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the life is, is going on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, life does go. It like life surprises you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, are you? Um, uh, is everything okay with you? Yes, I feel better, better, better than yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. 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 Yes. Okay. A normal day. Thanks to God, yes. Mm, okay, good. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm I'm happy to hear that. Really happy to hear that. Okay, good, good. And your day was how was your day? Uh, in the in my in my house, uh, working my 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 wife, my. Mm -hmm. My daughter also uh, worked uh, many time because she started the university. And in my work, uh, it's, a, it's a, a normal day, but I, I receive more, more activities than I expect. Yes. Mm. Yes, but, but uh, I did it. Oh, oh, my duties. Yes. Right. Okay. Did you say that your your daughter is? Did you say your your working. your daughter is working? Yes, my my daughter uh, working uh, uh, mid mid time, right? Oh, uh, how a part time? A part time. Yes. A part, part time. Yeah. Yeah, because she started the the university. 
Wow, you do not look like you have a daughter that is in university. <laughs> I would have never imagined that you have a daughter that is in university. Yes, she. I I told you yeah, uh, uh, some some days ago. I I I told you that I we we went to to get her uh, identity issues document issues because she oh. she get the she got the legal age. Oh, okay. Um, I did. I did. I didn't understand that that was your daughter. Yes. Ah, okay. Wow, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Um. So. Um. Uh, yeah. It's it's your you. So you only have one daughter. Yes, only. <laughs> okay. Okay. The, my yeah. little one. Yeah, very little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my little one. I know. Michelle, for... Like a song. Michelle, yeah. my, my little one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's good. Oh, good, good. Okay. Hello, Maria Elena. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? A little better. A little better? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Are you taking medication? Yes. Yeah? Okay, But good. my doctor say that is viral. Viral. Mm -hmm. Viral. It's a viral. Okay. okay. Um, well, when it's viral, um, it's true that you cannot take too much medication but you what, what you can do is is make your your immune system stronger so like uh, if you take like a vitamin c for example um <clears throat> a, if you eat like um if you eat things that um are like natural um Yeah, they boost your your naturally your your immune system. It will help. So, um, like, are, are you like drinking things like like tea? Yeah, yeah. Yell, honey. Honey, yeah, yeah, exactly. Honey, honey lemon. Uh, lemon. Yeah, oranges. Ginger. Yeah, ginger ale. Yeah, that could help too. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's yeah. Like it's, I said, it's true. If with viruses, you can't do you can't do very many medication, but you can do uh, good food, right? Good food for your body. Yeah, yes. yeah, and rest. You got to rest too. Yeah, because it's so it, beautiful. <laughs> because if you don't rest, what happens is that your your body. Um, will not uh, have will not get the the your your defense your your defense system will not a uh, will not respond right so you have to you have to rest yeah yeah then and drink do, do drink a lot of fluids lots of fluids yes yeah. mm -hmm. yeah but ultimately it's patience <laughs> yeah yeah i know a few weeks more no not necessarily no i th i think um if you if you rest well if you eat well i think this week you will be okay yeah by the end of the week so yeah you'll be okay don't worry yeah but i'm, I'm glad that you connected Um, uh, so yeah, um, okay, just give me a moment. Okay, all right, let me see who I haven't said hi to Diana. Hello, Diana, are you there? 
Good evening, teacher. Good yes, evening. I'm going to change to the computer because I'm on the cell phone. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So you you're turning on the computer? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, the the Zoom call. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you were um, you were making dinner. <laughs> no. Not today. Okay, not today. Okay, okay. You had dinner already. No, no, I don't. No? Okay, okay. All right. Okay. How how was your day? Oh, sorry. Uh it was fun. Oh, uh your your microphone turned off. Can you hear me, teacher? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Now. Sorry. Um uh, I was really busy. I'm still working actually because I have to create a presentation for uh reunion for tomorrow. Oh, for a meeting. Oh, yes. I see. Okay. You you looked all professional there with your with your headset. <laughs> with the headset. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, do, do you, is that how you work normally from home? Uh, I do both. I go to site and I stay at home two days a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Yes. Uh, well, um, do you choose the days or? Yes, yes, yeah. I choose it. Oh, nice, nice. That that that's that's very convenient. Yes. Yeah, good, good. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, for connecting and everything, even though I know that you're you're still busy. That's good. Yeah. OK, let me see who I've been said hi to. Oh, hello, Silvia Suleyma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, um, I am fine, teacher. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, it, are you having problems with the camera? Because uh, we can't see you. Yes. Ah, there you are. Okay, good, good. How was your day? Um, yeah. Um, it's uh, different and I... I stay. No, I was stay uh, in other branch. Uh, different. Uh, different to my work daily. But it's it's good. Okay. Good. Good. So um, uh, you you had to travel more. A longer distance to go to a, a different branch? Uh, excuse me? You said you have you were you said you work today at a different branch yes. than you normally do. Mm -hmm. So do you have to travel more? No, no. Uh, uh, for um, on the contrary. Uh -huh. uh, on the contrary, uh, I was in my um in my city, in the oh. branch of my city. Uh -huh. Oh, but okay. I I release um a word different because uh, in this branch need um uh, was need a uh, personal because the other uh. Uh, work, uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice, compañero? Uh, co-worker? Uh, 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 other co-worker is very sick and, mm -hmm. and because I I was in this in this city. Mm, okay, okay. So the, the good thing is that it was it was close to you and you know, so <laughs> you 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 were able to be closer to home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 
I'm glad to hear that. Okay. And who else? Oh, hey, hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How you how have you been? Um good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, are you are you working right now? No. No, 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 no. Yeah. I have okay. a session. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. Um, all right. And let me see. Who else? Oh, hello, Susanna. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, good, good, good. How how was your day at work today? Mm. Ah. Maybe. <laughs> ah. Ah. Be some day, regular day. It's a mm. hard, <laughs> hard work. Oh, yeah? Is is your, your work normally hard? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well, it's a near the close the month. Oh, okay, okay. So it's it becomes more difficult at the end of the month. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I I understand the yeah. Oh, yeah so, eh, you just have to. A push through a little bit, you know, and almost almost gonna be over. Yeah. Okay. So just just this week and you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. All right, wonderful guys. So let me take attendance. Um uh, let's start by taking attendance. So um first one. Um it is an atelier also. Present. Okay, good. Um, and uh, Delbert Arturo. Delbert Arturo. And uh, Diana. Diana? Diana, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. What happened to Oh, I guess she's, she's a bit caught in up. Okay. Um, Ah, okay, there she is. Diana? Uh, your, I don't know, your, your, your microphone. Yes, teacher, I'm here, sorry. Okay. I am I, I am preparing dinner. <laughs> okay, now you're preparing dinner. Okay, all right, all right, yes. wonderful. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? Jennifer? Uh, oh, present. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Jorge? Jorge? No, Jorge? Okay. Uh, Manuel? Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. And Maria Elena? Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. And Mario Ernesto Villeda? Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. Okay, just something happened there with the okay. Um eh, Mario Valle, Mario Jose Valle. Present teacher. Oh, okay. There he is. Okay. All right, Norma. Romario, Romario, 
Silvia Suleiman. Presente. Okay. Bueno, no, Susana. 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 Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. And Wendy. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we are going to start um, with our class and presentation. So let me. Okay, so let's tell family, please, if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Oh. Wonderful. Okay, so this is English for Work Problem, Advanced Module 2. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and the date is April 25th, 2023. And the day is the number 22. Okay. So let's start. Um, all right, so we're going to start talking about verbs that are followed by gerunds or infinitives, but that change in meaning. We already started talking about this a while ago. Uh, I've, I've told you that there's a there are four lists, right? One is a list of verbs that are just gerunds, that, that, that only follow gerunds. There's a list of verbs that Oh, sorry, that not follow that 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 pers uh, that go after uh, like let me, okay. Let me start again. There's a list of verbs that um, after those verbs we use a gerund. There's a list of verbs that after those verbs we use an infinitive. Um, about two days ago, we saw the list of verbs that um, you can use both a gerund and an infinitive after those verbs. And now we're gonna talk about the fourth list, which is the list of verbs where you can use a gerund or you can use an infinitive, both are possible, but the meaning changes depending on those, um, on, on, on which, which one you use, a gerund or an infinitive, okay? So these verbs that change the meaning um, are basically, um, they are the verbs forget, remember, which is the opposite of forget, stop, and try. That's it. Okay, so with those four verbs, you can use a gerund or you can use an infinitive, but depending on which one you use, the meaning is different. So let's talk about the first one, forget. If we use forget plus a gerund, um, what it means is that we forget something that happened in the past. So it means something did happen, okay? Something did happen, but we forgot that it happened, okay? And we normally use this with negative sentences, normally. Not all the time, but more normally we do, okay? So, an example of this, can someone read the example? Can someone help me with the example? I need a volunteer to help me with the example right here. I will never forget <laughs> proposing the initiative to improve the neighborhood close to the company's building. Okay, thank you very much. So this, so notice we're using forget. Oops, sorry. We're using forget. And after forget, we're using the verb 
in the ing or the gerund. Right? That's what it is. It's gerund. So, and if you notice, we're using it in the negative. When we use never, it's because it's negative. Okay. So that means that it did happen. It, 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 I did propose the initiative. And it, it's something that happened in the past. And I will not forget that it happened. Does that make sense? So far, so good? So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go. Let's go on to the other one. Now, we can also use forget with an infinitive. And what this means is that um, you forgot to perform a responsibility or a task. So you had the responsibility of doing something and you forgot to do it. You were supposed to do it, but you forgot that you were supposed to do it. Okay, does that make sense? So it didn't happen. In other words, this one, forget for the gerund, it happened in the past. This one, you were supposed to do it, but you forgot to do it. So it didn't happen. Okay, can somebody help me read the example? Yes, yes. Don't forget to meet us at five for the meeting. Wonderful. Thank you. So here we have forget and we're using the infinitive to meet. Okay. So right there to meet. Let's say infinitive. How do you, how does it sound? Is, is it clear for you guys? Are there any questions, doubts? No? Okay. You can ask. Okay, well, I'm going to suppose that everything was clear then. Okay, so now we're going to look at the word uh, as a verb, remember. Remember, if you understand forget, remember is easy because it's exactly the same as forget, but just the opposite. That's all it is, it's the opposite. So remember plus a gerund, what that means is that you um you remember or you recall that something did happen in the past so just like this one right it something happened and you forgot that it happened this one something happened and you remembered that it happened okay so it's the opposite this one it happened and you forgot this one it happened and you remembered Okay, so it's exactly the same, but the opposite. Okay, so can someone help me read the um, the example? Anybody? Yes, teacher. I remember investing on social projects last year. I invested on the projects before now. Thank you. So we have remember. And then we have the gerund, which is investing, right? Okay. What that means is that last year it happened. I did invest in the projects in last year, in the past, 
And I remember that I did that. Okay. Just to make sure you guys understand this, how would this, how would you say this in Spanish? I remember investing in social projects last year. How would, how would that be in Spanish? Any ideas? Eh, recuerdo haber invertido en programas sociales el año pasado. Yes, very good. Me recuerdo haber invertido en programas sociales el año pasado. Haber invertido. So, it means that it happened. Right? It happened last year. I did invest. And, ah, me recuerdo que pasó. Okay? Simple as that. And now talking about the infinitive, it's the same. It's the same. Like I said, if you understand forget, remember it's super easy because it's exactly the same. You remember plus, in, remember plus the infinitive? It means that you remembered that, um, that you were supposed to perform, or you were supposed to do, a responsibility or a task. So you had you had a responsibility to do. And ah yes, I remember that I was supposed to do it, so I did it. Okay? I complied with my responsibility. Can someone read the this this example now? Okay, Jennifer? Um, please remember uh, the infinitive, right? Yeah, yeah, the infinitive this one, yeah. Please remember to leave the reports over my desk. In the mm -hmm. future, please leave the reports over my desk. Good, thank you very much, Jennifer. Okay, so this means that it's not something that happened in the past. It's something for the future because you have that responsibility to do it in the future. So that's why we say, remember. And the verb leave is in the infinitive because I have a responsibility and my responsibility is to leave the reports over, over the desk and I have to remember. That's my responsibility to remember to do that. Does that make sense, everybody? So far, so good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, if you understand forget, you understand remember. Because they are exactly the same just the opposite of each other. Okay, so now let's go to stop passenger. Teacher, I have oh. a question. Yes, go uh, ahead, Manuel. Uh, in, uh, when we use uh, infinitive, uh, I, I see, uh, I, ha I have a question because uh, we are, uh, the the same verb, but with a noun in in gerund, and the other is uh, to, uh, infinity. Mm -hmm. But uh, my question is, uh, it 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 it, it makes sense uh, in this uh, in this part. We are using a different, a different uh, verb, a different noun. Uh, but the, the question is, mm -hmm. if can I use uh, remember the the example of remember, Jerome? Mm -hmm. But but can I use uh, I I remember to invest. 
Yeah, you could. Depend like I um you could say I remember to invest my money wisely and not to spend it. But what is the what what will the the uh, change the meaning? The meaning, yes. Yeah, so this is some this right here that so forget plus a gerund and remember plus a gerund is mm -hmm. something that happened in the past. It happened. And I I remember that it happened or I forgot that it happened. One of the two. Yeah. Right? So if I say so what is if what is the the, the meaning if mm -hmm. I use I remember to invest on social projects. So, so this is something that happened in the past. Yes. This is something that I'm supposed to do. It usually, usually in the future, or in the present, or it, it could be also in the past. But it's it's like a responsibility. Yeah. So. Okay. If I say, so if I say to, to, for you to understand this a little better. Okay. We said that I, rem, I remember investing on social projects last year. We said yeah. in Spanish, it's yo me recuerdo haber invertido mm -hmm. in, pro, in proyectos sociales. Yeah. En el yeah. okay. So it happened. What about here? How would you say this in Spanish? Please remember to leave the reports over my desk. How would you say that in Spanish? Sí, re, por favor, recuerda dejar los, los reportes encima mm -hmm. del de escritorio. Exactly. So that means that I have the responsibility. I have to do it, and this is my responsibility for the future. So it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's my responsibility to do it. What? So this is talking about something that happened in the past. This is talking about responsibilities. Do you see the difference? The future. Um, it could be, and it, it depends. Um, it could be the future. It could be the past. I could say, I remembered to leave. So if I if if I put in this remember in the past, I, I'd say like I remembered to leave the reports over your desk. Yo me acordé eh, de dejar los reportes. In, in su escritorio. Yo me recuerdo. Eh, o sea, oh, oh, sorry. Yo me recordé de dejar. So it means yo tenía la, la responsabilidad mm -hmm. de dejarlo mm -hmm. ahí me recordé que, que tenía que hacerlo. Ese es el, 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 el significado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it could be in the past, it can be in the present, it doesn't matter. But the important thing is that forget and, and remember, plus infinitive is talking about responsibility. Okay. Okay. It's something that you have to do. Yeah, exactly. Something you're supposed to do. And it, okay. it, you, you either forgot to do it or you remembered to do it. Okay. So, for example, I can say to you, imagine um, you are the, we are in a room and we are leaving the room and um and you are the last person to leave the room and i say manuel don't forget to lock the door don't forget to lock the door it means you have the responsibility because you are the last person you have the responsibility to lock the door okay sure. okay uh the the I think the 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 main the main word mm -hmm. it's a uh, uh, the this this verse forget remember mm -hmm. it depends when you use uh, a gerund mm -hmm. and the infinitive mm -hmm. but, but the specific verb forget remember stop and try try. Right? Only these four four verbs. Yeah, only these four verbs oh, okay. change. Oh, okay. 
change, change. Okay. The, the, uh, meaning. the meaning depending on if you use infinitive or or gerund. Okay, teacher, uh, the last, the, the last. Okay, uh, so, so is, that, is it clear, Manuel? Yes. Yes? Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, I only have a more, uh, <laughs> one more question. Okay, go uh, ahead. Uh, I can I use a different noun after uh, before remember, but the 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 meaning uh, will be uh, like for the rule uh, to to perform a responsibility or task. Okay, can you repeat the question again? Yes, yes. My question is, uh, if I use uh, the, the verb remember, mm -hmm. uh, it's up to the, the noun, infinitive, mm -hmm. but the meaning will be always a, uh, to perform a responsibility or task. Yeah, so it doesn't matter okay. what the, the infinitive is. It can be okay. to me, to work, to sleep, to play, to sleep, whatever. Okay. But it means can, that that's we, your responsibility. We can say like uh, these four verbs are special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, there's, Thank you. yeah. It's, this is the, like I said, the fourth list. Okay, remember, there's a list of verbs that always use gerunds, always. Okay, like, for example, avoid. I avoid, I avoid um, working on the weekends, right? Or, um, yeah, so there's the list of verbs. There's a second verb, uh, sorry, a second list that only use infinitive, like want. I want to go um to the movies i want to go we cannot say i want going to the movies you say i want to go only then we saw a few days ago the list of the verbs said you can use a gerund or an infinitive and it doesn't change the meaning like love i love um i love swimming or i love to swim it doesn't matter. It's, it's the same. You choose. And this is the fourth type of, of list that you can use in infinitive. You can use a gerund, but it will not mean the same thing. So, yes, this is definitely special. The, these four verbs are special that way. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? You can ask me anything that is not clear for you. No? Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Actually, I think this, the, 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 the next verb is very straightforward. This one's very, I think, easy to understand. Stop plus a gerund. What that means is that the action ended. That's all it means. So you have an action and that action ended. Simple as that. So can I have someone help me with the reading of the example? Anybody? Just reading this part here. Very short. Teacher, can I read? Of course, yes. Okay. The company stopped providing funds for charity last year. Thank you. Okay. So that means before the company provided funds for charity. But now, but last year, they stopped the action of providing funds. 
That's what it means. Okay, so the action of providing funds stopped. Simple as that. Or you can say, for example, my father stopped smoking last year. So it means that before he smoked and last year he stopped, that the activity of smoking stopped. Or drinking or drink drunk alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So you can say, for example, I stopped drinking alcohol two years ago. I stopped drinking alcohol. So the before I used to drink alcohol. Now that activity stopped. Simple as that. Okay. So this is concentrating on the action stopping. This part here, stop us, the gerund, is concentrating on the action that stopped. Now, stop plus an infinitive, oops, change colors here. Stop by the infinitive is kind of the same idea, except here, we're, except here, what we're doing is that we are, a, it means that we interrupt an action to start a new one. So we're saying this action stopped and a new one started. And normally we are saying why, what we're, you're saying why the action was interrupted. Okay, so can I have a volunteer read me the example? Just read. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. I was, I was finishing the report and I stopped to ask what the phone. Excellent, thank you very much, Maria Elena. So I, so we have here, I stopped to answer the phone. Okay, so we have stopped and the way the gerund is to answer. So you're saying that I was doing an action. The action was uh, finishing the report. That's my, that's, um, that's the action I was doing originally and this action was interrupted by the action of answering the phone. So I'm saying why this action stopped. So here we're concentrating on why an action stops. Okay, and what happened next? So why did the action stop? And what did I do next? What what action interrupted the first action? To answer the phone. Yeah, exactly. That was the reason why I stopped uh, do, doing the report. And what I did after that was answer the phone. Exactly. Sounds good? Is that pretty simple? Yes. Yeah. So I, I think this one's probably like the easiest one of, of all of them because, yeah. So this one is, this action stopped. This one is saying, this action stopped because another action started. Okay. And the last one is gerund, is, is a try plus a gerund. So try plus gerund, this verb is used to say um, that something is done as an experiment. So we're saying, oh, I did this and I, don't, I didn't know what, what, what the result would be, but I did it. And most of the time, this action 
may not be successful. So I tried it, I did it, but probably it didn't succeed. Okay, but I tried it. That's the important thing. I, I, I did the attempt. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happened. The important thing is I tried it. Okay, and could somebody help me with the, the example? Correcto, Carito, y es la que trae la perilla más pequeñita de la que tiene la de eh, Sus, eh, Susana, would you, would you help me read, please? Sorry, teacher, I don't, eh, I'm working. Oh, you're working. Okay. All right. Um... Silvia Suleyma, could you help me read? Just read this part. This last. Sorry? Sorry, estaba cenando. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, can, can you help me to, to read? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, what part? Uh, this this example. Right ah. here. Okay. We need to increase our presence in the media. And B, let's try helping the public with scholarships. Thank you. Thank you. So here we have try. Oops. Okay, so we have try plus the gerund, helping. Okay. Um, and what we're saying is, let's try it to see what happens. Maybe, maybe we'll not, it will not, um, it will not work. Maybe we, we won't be successful in giving the scholarship but let's try it let's let's see what happens let's make the experiment okay uh, or maybe i can say okay i don't know how to bake a cake um but i will try making it i will try making it so it means i'm going to experiment I don't, I, I, maybe it's not going to be successful because I don't know how to bake cakes, but I'm going to try it. That's the important thing. I'm going to try it. So I'm, I'm going to try making a cake. I've never done a cake. I've never, uh, I've never, it's never happened, but let's try it. Let's, let's see what happens as an experiment. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Yes. Okay, all right, I hope. If there's no questions, we can continue. Okay, so let's go on to the next one, which is the same verb, try, but this time it's try plus the infinitive. It's kind of similar, but it's a little different because this one is, it means um, you make the attempt, you, you attempt something and you make an effort. Simple as that. So you, you make the attempt to do something and you make an effort. So this one's even more simple than this one. This one's like, we are concentrating on the effort that you're making. Okay, so this one's concentrating on, let's do the experiment, let's see what happens. This one is concentrating on, I'm going to make an effort. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, do everything I can to, to, to try it. Okay, so can I have a volunteer read the last sentence?
Maybe I okay. will try thank okay. you, to come to okay. tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have here um, try plus contact, which is in the infinitive to contact. And what I'm saying is I'm going to make an effort to contact them tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to uh, find his number. I'll try to find his number. I will um, be calling him many times, blah, 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 right? So I will make a big effort to contact him, them tomorrow. So similar, very similar to try plus a gerund. But like I said, try plus a gerund is concentrating on Let's do it as an experiment. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's try it. Here, it's more like I'm going to make an effort to make it work. Okay. So, how's this? It's clear. I hope so. Okay, so let's let's try to do it. <laughs> let's try to do the exercises here. Um, so let's go on to the next slide, which are the exercises. So let's complete the sentences using verbs in parentheses. Read the meaning to decide whether to use a gerund or an infinitive, okay? And so you've got to, so what you got to do here is make sure you understand the meaning of the sentence to be able to decide if you're going to be using a gerund or if you're going to be using an infinitive, okay? So, you're basically you're going to be concentrating on like this, for example. Here, the meaning is to attempt. Here, the meaning is to interrupt. Right? Here, the meaning is to perform an action. Here, the meaning is um, the, not to forget to do something in the past. Oh, sorry, not, uh, not forget that something did happen in the, in the past. Here, it's an experiment. And here, we don't forget, we, we are not going to forget to perform an activity. Those are the meanings. Okay, so look at the meanings and then decide, am I going to use a gerund or am I going to use an infinitive? Okay, so... Um, Okay, so I'm going to uh, put you guys into uh, into breakout rooms okay, to work with a partner. Um, let me send let me send this um, to WhatsApp first so that. Everybody has it. Well, actually, well, let's open it and let me do the, the breakout rooms. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that I have everybody here so that, that you guys are participating. So, um, okay, so is... Silvia Sulema, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And Wendy, are you there? Yes. Okay, good. And Maria Elena, are you there? Maria Elena, are you there? Yes, but I lost mm. the light. 
Oh, okay. Okay, the electricity. Okay, got it. Okay, so um, let me see. In a moment. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you about five minutes to do, no, no, I'll give you more. I'll give you about eight minutes. It shouldn't take you long. All you gotta do is decide infinita or gerund. It's very simple as that. You just have to decide, do I have to use the verb in, <clears throat> in the gerund or do I have to use the verb in infinita? So it's not gonna take you too, too long. Okay, so let's open the rooms right now. No te preocupes por ti, porque no te casa. No. Me I sorry I'm not connected. I come back. Mm. No, you speak. Feel better. I hope a little better. You feel better. Little better. No, no, no. Not, not, not connecting. No, not this problem. Not Hello? problem with you. Hello, Hello. Wendy. Hello. Hello, Wendy. María Elena. Hello. Hi. Hello, Delbert. Delbert. Hello. Hello, Marlena. The La pregunta del millón, ¿qué vamos a hacer? <laughs> Teacher, show us. El, el ejercicio último, creo que va. Yeah. Exercises. Sharing in WhatsApp, no. Um, Sharing in WhatsApp. I don't know. No. Uh, no. Yes, it's in WhatsApp. Yes, it's in WhatsApp. <laughs> uh, try the manager. Okay. Are you reading in WhatsApp? In WhatsApp. If you want, I share my screen. The manager organized a meeting at week. He was talking on the phone and he stopped and not on positive interruption. Here the correct is by this two attempt, uh, we use a gerund. 
the manager, the manager, the manager try organizing, organ, organizing a meeting last week. Maybe is the, is the answer. Manager try organizing a meeting last week. What do you think? Sí. Yes. My manager tried organizing. I'm going to speak. Yes, I agree. Okay. Do you have it, Wendy? Yes. Okay. Then uh, number two, he was talking on the phone and uh, it's an interruption, right? Then when when it's an interruption, um, he was talking on the phone and he stopped mm -hmm. writing. Meaning is interrupted. I don't I don't see it. <laughs> yes, but the meaning is interruption. Yes, mm -hmm. I, you you have in the in the in the chat WhatsApp chat. The yes. meaning is interruption. Okay. When when there are interruption is uh, infinity. Stop infinity. Ah, uh, it's with stop infinity. Gerum, stop plus gerum is uh, to end an action. To end an action. But the, the meaning is interruption, I think, is a plus, a plus a infinity. A, he, so, he was talking on the phone and he stopped to write. To write a note, okay. He stopped. Stop to write a note on a post -it. In past. To write a note I... on a post, post it. Uh -huh. The number three, uh, please remember include your names in the application forms. Perform the, an activity. Perform an activity. Yes, when you, when you perform. Including. Please remember including your name. It is to infinity. In yes. remember, mm -hmm. uh, in the few, please remember to leave the report over my desk. In the future, please leave the report over my desk. So also in infinity. Before an activity. Uh, remember, uh, in Jerome, it's, it's mean to remember recall something that happened in the past and in infinity perform a responsibility yes infinity. okay so i think it's infinity please remember including your names remember to include mm -hmm. now to include or including no, in infinitive or in gerund? In infinitive, in infinity, please remember in, in infinity is it's meant to remember to perform to perform a responsibility task. Oh, okay. In infinity, but in, in gerund, in remember it's meant to remember uh, in parentheses recall something that happened in the past. Ah, okay. Possible, yes. yes. Infinity. Infinity. Remember to include. In the application forms. Okay. Okay, the four, the employees will never forget, prepare a dinner for those affected by earthquake. Don't forget something. Ah, like, okay. This uh, is uh, infinity. This, this is, is uh, in that's an example. Zero, okay. uh -huh, like... The employees. The employees will never, will never forget preparing. Don't forget. 
preparing, yes, with preparing a dinner. The number five, five. bigger companies should, should try, try help. help smaller companies to increase their own profit. profit. Experiment, okay. Experiment. Jerome. Uh, Jerome. We also. need to increase our presence, our presence in the media. Those are examples. Okay, uh, let's try companies. helping the public with scholarship. Sure. Is it, um, try helping. Experiment, yes. Bigger companies should try helping smaller. Try helping, companies. yes. Okay. To increase their profit. So it's a sentence is two. Right, it's a sentence is two is. And he has talking. He he was he was talking. Uh, on the phone, on the phone, uh, and he is entre parentheses stop and write and not mm -hmm. and not on opposite opposite. It. Mm -hmm. uh, y es y como interruption. In, and in the type will be interruption. Interruption. Mm -hmm. interruption. But entonces is a is a bear is a con a stop. A ver. Mm -mm -mm. Ba is a is a, a example is a stop a place ger, gerundio. It's mean or in no, no, an action. Is an action. The company stopped providing funds from share charity last year. And the right side? Uh, stop must plus infinitive. Mm -hmm. It's mean to interrupt, interrupt an action to start a new one. And then this is the case. Interruption. Interruption. Uh -huh. hmm. That he was talking on the phone and he and he 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 he, he, he. stop stop it como se llama how do you say what is stop. pronunciation stop 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 to 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 write mm -hmm. yeah. to write and not on a posit mm -hmm. okay it's a sentence three And help me, Mario. <laughs> Please. Mm. 
Good. Are you girls finished? Please remember inquire inquire your name your name and the application for Mm -hmm. uh, perform an activity. Remember. We finished, teacher. Yes, teacher, we already finished. Oh, Silvia. Silvia is here. <laughs> I didn't see. Silvia was here. I didn't see. Okay, make sure that Sylvia has her the same okay, answers okay. as you. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. Sylvia doesn't doesn't talk. I know Sylvia. She Sylvia was like very, very the, the, Do you have the answers already? Sorry, and I I was listening uh, to you because I don't understand this topic. Ah, okay, okay. Let me let me. Uh, uh, check okay the we have the we have the example and the teacher sent the example that we we have to complete but it only only we can use the the two verbs on, on parentheses but uh, it's up to the meaning. If you okay. check the, the, the rules that teacher said, and the first one, the, 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 the example, uh, the exercise said the manager uh, try organize a meeting last week. The meaning is to attempt. Well, if you re if you check the the examples, the previous examples is the is the it's similar the the last example when when I I saw so I will try to contact them tomorrow morning. Try plus as infinity. It means to means to attempt something to make an effort and check the check the exercise the manager try is the is the verb try and then plus to organize because the meaning is to attempt mm -hmm. in this in this example uh, we we use the verb try because it's the, it the, it the, it the main verb. And second, the plus infinity, to organize. Mm -hmm. Because the meaning is to attempt. And the, the, the sentence uh, is the manager tried to organize a meeting last week. The try to organize. Try to organize. That's all. <clears throat> try to organize. Because we have the, the meaning to attempt at the okay, end of the at the end of the sentence. Okay, en español para entender entonces okay. sería el, el gerente mm -hmm. intentó organizar yeah, una yeah. reunión la semana pasada. Es correcto. Okay. Es correcto. En the second one, he was talking on the phone and he stopped to write. 
Uh, the meaning, uh, write a note on a post-it. The meaning is inter interruption, to interrupt something, an activity. Uh -huh. Because, because uh, we, we have uh, infinity, because if you uh, use gerund, doesn't make sense because when you use a plus gerund with stop, it means to end an action, but end an action and interrupt an action is not the same. To finish an action, but interrupt it. Oh, I, 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 I need to, I, I need to write some report, but I have, I have to do this. Uh, you interrupt that you, you, you are uh, doing in the moment to make something, right? Eh, okay, no, si, si, si quieres repito un poquito en español. Vale. Si usamos es la, el verbo stop con gerundio, significa el fi, finalizar una acción. The, we have the, the example, la compañía se, se, se detuvo o paró de proveer fondos para, para caridad el año pasado usando gerundio o sea, se detuvo o paró pero si usamos el verbo stop con infinitivo significa interrumpir una acción para comenzar una nueva entonces sin finalizar la eh, eh, ajá correcto, es interrumpir no es lo mismo que finalizar, ¿verdad? Entonces, el ejemplo que tenemos dice, dice, él estaba hablando, en el, estaba, estaba en el teléfono, right? Pero él se detuvo para escribir una nota en un post-it, de un papelito chiquitito. Se detuvo, no que finalizó la llamada. Se acordó que tenía que escribir una nota y la puso en el papelito. Porque aquí tenemos al final, miren, el, el significado. Interrupción de lo que estaba haciendo. Uh -huh. sí. Are you finished? Wendy, Maria Elena, are you finished? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay, wonderful. Uh, we'll return to the main uh, session in a moment. Hello, are we finished? Hello? Yes. Are you finished? Yes. Yeah? Okay, wonderful. I will be returning to the main hall in a moment. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's check the answers. Can you see my 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 PowerPoint?
Yes, no. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Good. My PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right. So let's start with the first one. The manager. And um we're gonna use the verb try and and the organized is gonna be in gerund or an infinitive. Remember that the meaning is to attempt. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. So the manager. Try Try to organize. Try to organize. Try to organize. Okay, I, it sounded like an echo there. So <laughs> let me, okay, so just try. To organize. Try to organize. Try organizing. Meeting last week. Is that, do you all agree with that one? You agree? Yes, yes. because the, the, mean, the, the meaning is to attempt. Okay. Okay, so to organize is fine, but notice it says last week. Tried. Right. Last. Exactly. Because it's last week. Tried. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna say not try, but tried. Okay. The manager tried to organize. Tried. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. So let's go on to the next one. Um, he was talking on the phone and he... He stopped. He stopped, he stopped like this? Yes. Okay, he stopped what? To write. To write. A note on a post-it. Is that correct? Do you guys agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Everybody agrees. Why do we say stopped? Why not stop or stops? It's in past was talking. Mm -hmm. He was talking. That's right in the past. Exactly. Very good. So he was he was talking in the past, and so he stopped in the past. Yeah, in the past. Right? Mm -hmm. So he stopped to write a note on a post-it. Good. So it was interrupted. That the action of talking yes. on the phone was interrupted. Mm -hmm. Good. Next. Number three, please. Remember. Remember? To include. To include like this. Is that right? Yes. You agree? Everybody agrees? Remember to include? Everybody agrees? Yes. Okay. I do too. Very good. Okay, next. The employees will never forget preparing. Never forget preparing for for uh, preparing a dinner for those affected by the earthquake. Yeah, do you agree? Yes. Yeah. So it so yes. Remember, forget it was in chair, and it means it happened. Yes. It happened yes. in the past. It happened in the past. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. Excellent. Number five. Bigger companies should try helping. Okay. Very good. Try helping. Bigger companies should try helping smaller companies to increase their own profits. Okay. okay. Well, do you all agree? Yes. Yeah? Everybody agrees with that? 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Um, and the last one, don't. Don't forget. Yes. Forget to be. To be. Don't forget to be on time to receive your award. They're on time to receive your award. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Excellent. All right. Excellent. Very, very good. Now, notice that um, the verb, the, the not, not the gerund or infinitive, but just the verb itself can be in any form. It can be in the simple present. It can be in the infinitive. It can be in the simple past. Any form. Any form at all. A model. Any, any form at all. Okay. So like here, we have tried in the simple past. Here, simple past. Here. It's actually the um, a, <laughs> it's the infinitive because we're using an imperative. Yes. Okay. Um. Then here we're using uh, forget a, in the simple the simple future. We'll never forget, right? We'll we'll forget, right? So, uh, simple future. Here we're using um a with a model should try. Right. In that case, sorry to interrupt. In that case, it might, uh, okay. For example, in the first, uh, in the first sentence, mm -hmm. it try can be present or uh, this um, one. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. In the present, in the future, or in the past, but will be an infinitive if if it is an attempt. No exactly. matter the time. No matter yeah. the time. That, that the that the action is and and for uh, yeah and so for, yeah continue yes yeah and then for example but in the second one it is an action that is that is that there was uh, mm -hmm. okay, okay in the second one because it's a stop Mm -hmm. And that is explicit in the exam and the in the reading that you gave us. That is an action. Don't, it says that it interrupts another action. Another yeah, interrupt an action to start a new one. Right. But that it is strictly in past, or also it could be in present. No, no, you can you can do it in the present. You can do it in the future. For example, okay. Um. All right, so we're going to go on a road trip. We're we're going to um we're going to go to Santana. Okay, so let's start. Um I'm going to I'm going to head to Santana, but on the way I'm going to stop to put gas. Mm, okay. I'm going to stop to put gas. So in the future. We're using yes. it on the future. And I'm telling you that I'm going to interrupt something in my, I'm going to interrupt our trip, right? I'm, I'm driving and I'm going to interrupt the driving for a reason. The reason is to stop and put gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it could be in any form. Oh, yeah. Okay. And for example, in the first one, I, I did this on purpose. So I, I could say the manager will try to organize a meeting. If we didn't have the last week, we could say, for example, we'll try. And that mm -hmm. would be in the future. So it, you can you can do it any form. Okay. Okay. Oops. Any questions, guys? No? Okay. All right. Good. Um, it's clear then. Okay. So... Um, so that's a little bit about our grammar. Let's now look a little bit about, we're going to be reading um, an article and um, checking some vocabulary, pronunciation. This is an article that's actually called A Five-Step Social Responsibility Action Plan. So um, we have been talking about a, a, you know corporate social responsibility. And... Um, 
here we're going to continue talking about social responsibility. So um, we are, I'm gonna actually ask volunteers to help me read. I think I'm gonna divide this into two parts. The first part, maybe we can read all of this. So, Just a second. Okay, so um, maybe somebody can help me um, read like this part here. And then somebody else can help me read this part here. Okay, all right, so who wants to read this part? Manuel, you wanna read this part? Okay, yeah, teacher. wonderful, thank you. And who wants to read this part, the bottom part? Um, okay, Deanna, you can read the second part then. Okay, go ahead. Um, as, as they are reading, I'm going to ask you guys, please write down words that you don't understand, either the meaning or the pronunciation you're not sure about. Just write them down so that we don't take too much time um, you know, when I ask, uh, can, can you write in the chat any words? So as you listen, write down the words. Okay, so go ahead. Let's start with one. Okay. A five-step social responsibility action plan. Being socially responsible isn't just a public service. It's also a business imperative. These five steps will help you make the leap. leap. Corporate social responsibility, creating business value while promoting positive social change is getting a lot of attention today. And for good reason, not only is the right thing to do, but it can also getting a lot of attention today. Okay, I'm sorry have a major impact on your bottom line in the good way. In her book, Just Good Business, you see have a major impact on your bottom line. I'm sorry. Berkeley Business Prof Professor Kelly McElany sits an IBM Institute for Business Values study that found that more than two thirds, 68% of business leaders worldwide are focusing, focusing on corporate social responsibility, CSR, to create new re revenue streams and more than half, 54%, are convinced that their company CSR activities give them a competitive advantage over their stop competitors. Thank you. Um, you can continue, continue. Yes. Once companies make this a priority, it's amazing that comes to light or in uh, one case goes to dark. When Walmart Institute an employee suggestion a few years ago to remove remove the light bulbs from its vending machine, which remained light, uh, lit 24 seven and required periodic maintenance and replacement, the company saved more than 1 million a year. If you would like to put the power of corporate social responsibility to work for you, then consider the following strategies. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Manuel and Diana. Thank you so much for your reading. Wonderful reading. Okay. All right. So before we go on to look at these strategies, let's talk about this introduction. Let's start with the mm, pronunciations. I think it's going to be easier if we do the pronunciation. So um, you can write in the chat words that you don't understand the pronunciation, you're not sure about. Where's 
Really? No words? They're all clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Okay. I'm gonna give you, oh, okay, good. Um, what's that word? Here. Let's um, see if I can find it. Uh, yes, very good. Anything else? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I have many windows here. Can't see anymore. <laughs> Trying to move things around. Anything else? Okay. All right. So there's one more that I definitely want to look at. This is a tricky one. So I'm going to also include it. And I think there was another one was the other one I saw. Um, mm. Oh. Okay. So let's start. Let's start with the uh, the first one. So the first one we pronounced it leap. Leap. Okay. Not. Do not be confuse it with lip, like lip from your mouth, right? Not lip, but le leap, leap, okay? The other one is revenue, 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 okay? Actually, I'm going to add, add one more. This one. Focusing. Focusing. Focus. It, this one is one I, I find many people have trouble with. That, that's why I included it. Because I, I, I hear many people having problems with this one. So just without the ING, this is Focus, focus. So ing focusing, focusing. Okay. And the other one is bulbs, bulbs, bulbs. Okay. And the last, the next one. I added because this one is a tricky one, and it's because um, we, especially in American English, there's a little like skip. We skip it a little. So it's not maintenance. It's maintenance. 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 It's like saying mount. You know that you know we when we skip mountain certain so it's maintenance maintenance okay so with the we it's like it goes up and then skip it maintenance 
Okay, your 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 tongue has to go to the top. Me, mm, 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 like, mm, mm. okay, and then down. Maintenance. Okay, and the last one is strategies. Strategies. I circled that one because also many people put the stress on the wrong syllable. It's not strategies. It's strategies. The stress is on the first syllable. Strategies. Okay, because I know that in Spanish you say estrategias. So estrategias, the stress is on the te, but not in English. The stress is on the first syllable. It's stra, strategies. Okay. All right, um, let's look at the vocabulary now. Can you write in the chat any words that you don't understand the, 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 the meaning? Okay. Good, good, I'm, I'm glad to see, whoops. Oh my goodness, what did I, what did I just do? Okay, sorry guys, I just did Okay, oh, there it is, okay. Sorry guys, it's just, there's so little space sometimes. Uh, I have the chat and I have, and I see your, I can see your faces. <laughs> so it's like, and then I have the bar. Okay, let me see, let me change. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have, Okay. Um, so I see competitors. Okay, just a second, guys. I'm trying to find where it is. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. All right. Can somebody help me word, uh, to find the word? <laughs> can't find Which it. Which one? The for, uh, com, uh, competitors. Ah, it's at the end of the reading from Manuel. It's oh, thank one. you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, guys. Okay, all right. Um... Okay, also we have also revenues. What else? Anything else? Are those the only two words that you don't not sure about? Yeah, for me it was not the meaning, it was the pronunciation for com com pet competitors. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So it's not the okay. All right, let me change that one. It was also leap, teacher. Uh, for the mean? Uh, yes, Susana sent it. Oh, okay, thank you. Es que no, no me gusta como... como... Como han estructurado el Zoom, el, la, el chat ahora que antes era como consecutivo, ahora es como que por, por participante. Entonces ya no sé si es que le han agregado o no han agregado, ya no sé. Sorry, guys. Ok, all right, with the. Ok, so going back to this word, this word is competitors. Competitors. The stress is on the second syllable. 
competitors. Okay. Now, the meaning of leap is like a jump. Okay. So think about jumping, right? Jump, jump. But jump, it's in the same place, right? You jump up and down. But leap is not just jumping. It's jumping with movement in direction. So um, to illustrate it, I'm going to try to draw. So jump. Um, if you're jumping, it's like you're going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. Down. But leap is going doom, doom. So it's it's jumping with uh, movement, with direction. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Ah, and by the way, usually leap is um, not just direction, but long distance. Okay, so it's like you're trying to jump a long distance not not just a little not just like a few centimeters it's actually you're trying to go may, many feet or maybe meters okay and the other revenue revenue is like um similar to profit okay it's like um a it's the the, the income that you get um from the profits, like when you are selling something, when you're selling something, it's not the, the complete money that you get, but it's like the money that you are making that is yours from the sale. That's the revenue. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. So just to make sure, it's like when if imagine I, I um I sell um t TVs, okay. I'm selling. I have a shop and I sell TVs, and um I spend I don't know ten thousand dollars on TV on TVs, and I sell all the TVs, um, and I um. It, for everything that I make, I make $30,000. Then my revenue is the difference between the money that um, I get and the money I have invested. Okay, so that's all of the profits, all the money that I, um, the income that I get. Teacher, like, like uh, in Spanish, uh, ganancias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop there. And um, like they say, to be continued. <laughs> okay. Because we're going to, we were looking at the, uh, at the, at the article and it says they were really going to look at the strategies. So the strategies, we're going to be seeing them tomorrow. Okay. All right. Um, okay, let's continue then. Um, uh, I'm going to finish off with our attendance. By the way, just um, reminding you guys, if you need, if anybody needs help, like with the platform or, or anything, maybe this topic of, of the of the gerunds and infinitives that you didn't understand, you're more than welcome to stay behind after class and I will help you out with anything you need. Okay. All right. So let's start with um, Cristia. Cristia, is Cristia here? No, no more. Okay. Uh, Delbert. Delbert, tampoco. Okay, Diana. Here, Diana. good night, teacher. Good night, Jennifer. Here, teacher. Great, Jorge. Jorge. 
But Jorge connected, right? Yes. Yeah, he did connect yeah, he for, for a moment. Yeah, okay. Manuel? Present. Good night. Good night. Maria Elena? Maria Elena? Okay. Maria Elena? Hello? Who's that? Okay. Mario Ernesto? Presentation. Thank you. Um, Mario eh, Jose? Mario Jose? Okay. Norma Carolina? Eh, Romario? Silvia Suleima? Present. Great. Eh, Susana? Susana? Susana. Hola. I guess not. And Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, all right. Okay, so take care. The, the very is here because uh, this connection is in the group. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Susana. There's connect. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Susana, <laughs> we can't hear you. Your 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 my your microphone is off, Susana. Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, I I went to the bar room. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, all right, no problem. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Maria Elena, are you there? Yes, thank you. Tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Okay, great. All right, so see you tomorrow, Maria Elena. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.